Was it boring for me to sit around at rehearsals and watch dances? No. Never. Uh, James, who choreographed uh, a lot of the dances, and Lauren also, who choreographed some, some pieces of the, some of the dances, they're incredible choreographers, and all the people in the show are such incredible dancers and singers that I got to sit and watch them perform all the time, and that was just... Uh, I was just always smiling and taking a lot of photos because it was just incredible, even even when they were learning learning the songs uh, at the beginning. So, never boring, ever. I love Not Your Seed. Um, I think it's just a beautiful kind of dark song in, in the middle of that show. Robert's Professor Higgins is iconic. I don't know if anyone could do that part as well as he did ever. How did it, how did it feel to have Lauren spit on me? It was an honor. Aww. If I could choose any other star kids to play Paul, probably uh, Brian Rosenthal or Brian Holden. They're both incredible at dry humor, so they would do a kick-ass job. Let It Out is just such, it's so much fun to do, and it was such a daunting task to do well, and inevitable, I got to try my hand at some of these fantastic songs in the show. Favorite character from any Star Kid show? Uh, I wrote this down and I thought about it a lot. It's really hard. Both Nick playing Robin and Nick playing uh, <laughs> Obi-Wan from Annie. Just because that scene in Annie with him and Julia and uh, Joe Walker. I've, I've seen that scene probably, probably a million times. And then also um, Nick, Gage, Nick Gage's Sultan from Twisted. I mean, that entire show is just so hilarious, but he's just so funny.
Aww. How hard was it to not kiss Jeff when he was serenading me in What Do You Want, Paul? Uh, I'd say about a 10. It was pretty hard. The witch is a wizard, it's a magical yeah, beast. Yeah, it's a Gryffindor, Gryffindor, yeah. Gryffindor, Gryffindor. Gryffindor.